Hi, how are you doing? This is IBMI by Doing. Welcome to IBMI by Doing, a series of video sessions in which we do hands-on projects programming the IBMI mid-range computer. I'm Madhu Vasudevan with over 20 years of IBMI work experience at your service. The target audience is newbie programmers who want to learn RPG4 or RPG ILE on IBMI. I am working from a free Windows server offered by the AWS Cloud free tier. There is a link in this video's description to another of my videos on how you can sign up for the AWS free tier, launch a desktop and use it free for an entire year. But feel free to proceed with your personal laptop or desktop computer. Welcome to this hands-on session on Intro to the Source Entry Utility. First, we will start a session on Pub 400. Then we will create an RPG LE program to learn and document SEU. We will explore source entry utility features such as editing, setting session defaults, invoking command line, compiling, browsing the external members, browsing compiler output, modifying PDM defaults. Then we will call the created program. And finally, we will examine the program object. We have successfully started a session in the IBMI system at pub400.com. Let's create an RPG LE program to learn and document SEU. So far, we have been only writing comments and documenting SEU. Uh, let us write a small program in RPG. Key in the line. The optional header specification, H specification if present, must be the first compiling line of program. Tab over, insert 10 lines, hit enter. A couple spaces. Enter again. So we have commissioned some more input lines. Key an H in column 6 and take an F4. Note that the H spec is nothing but a long column of keywords. Let's key in the keyword copyright within quotes. Close quote. Close bracket. For comment, you can say this is an optional header and hit enter. F12 to release the prompt, key in another H in column 6 and take an F4 prompt and you can key in some other keywords to set program defaults like date edit star mdy, another keyword date format star mdy with delimiter slash, you could say time format star iso and a comment that these are set program defaults and hit enter F12 to release the prompt. Next let's enter a blank comment line. Let's key in a C spec, key in a C and take an F4. Opcode, move left, factor 2, the word repeat exclamation to a result variable called next which is defined on the fly with a length of 10 field exit no decimal positions making it an alphanumeric and just a comment define comma assign variable and hit enter f11 to go back to that previous line tab over shift tab to tab back through input fields or input columns. In the opcode field, you could press an F1 and see a listing of all the possible opcodes that you can use. There's a cryptic explanation of what each opcode does. Just to jog your memory, 
when you are coding and you want to recall the exact syntax of the op code, it's very useful in that case. F12 to exit the help, F12 again to exit prompt, down arrow, tab over to column 7, key in the comment from the line number pane, key in IP and enter to insert a line with prompting help. So let's try that. Tab over, tab, key in a C, back to number pane, insert prompt IP and hit enter. So this is like taking an F4 but you keyed IP instead. Key in the next C spec, factor 1, edit, comma, save, close quote. The op code we'll go for is uh, the simple display result column. We'll use the variable we previously defined next up and hit enter. We are prompted for the next C-spec line, but we'll just do an F12 to abandon the prompt. Down arrow, tab over, column 7, key in the comment. So key in the two lines. When in F4 prompt mode, press F1 in the operations field to see a list of possible opcodes. When done, press F12 to exit the help and resume editing. We just saw how that works. Press tab to go to next line. Tab one more time. Column 7. Key in the next comment from line number pane. Key in IF and enter to insert a column format ruler. So let's try that. Tab over. Tab. Say C in column 6. Go to line number pane and say insert a format ruler for C spec. So you just key in an I and F and hit enter. This format ruler that is inserted is not part of code because you can make it disappear by pressing F5. Function key 5 would refresh the screen and remove the ruler. So it is only a visual aid. You can insert that format ruler as a visual aid on any line. So this line is supposed to be a C spec line. So against that in the number pane if you key in i and f insert format you get a format ruler we can use that ruler to key in our next opcode which is a mandatory opcode set on and under the indicators high low and equal indicator under one of these indicator columns, key in LR for last record. For comment, you can say this is a mandatory, mandatory line. And hit enter. Press F5 to remove the ruler. Setting on the last record indicator is usually the last thing you do in an RPG program and it signifies the end of program but this line can appear just about anywhere as long as it does appear somewhere at least once. Let's comment out blank lines. Insert a few more lines. I10. Enter. Space in the last inserted line. Go back to next input line. Key in the comment. Last record indicator must be set on in any line once. More than once is also okay, but not required. Let's go up and comment out blank line. Also note that the double slash can be keyed in on any line at all after column number 7. On any column, we can key in the double slashes and start a comment. Press tab one more time. Next comment. Now that we have completed our RPG code, we can save and exit. One way to do that is press the home key to get to the SEU command line on top and then type the command file and hit enter to save the member and exit edit. So let's try that. You could take a look at the code. So let's just page up, keep the cursor on the line where we started the code.
code and this three line program is the one we want to save. So press home key till you get to the command line and key in FILE. Case doesn't matter, small letters, capital letters, all works. File and enter. Look at the bottom where there is a message telling you SEU underscore help is a member that has been saved in the file QRPG LESRC in your project library and it has 79 records. Let's look at this member again. Let's go back into SEU but this time in browse mode we only want to view and not edit so key in a 5 and hit enter. We have documented the important functionalities and important rules and tools of SEU in a few pages. Let us scroll through the pages. Down arrow. Page down key. You can compare if you have all the lines or you have any missing lines. This can serve as a reference when you know that there is an SEU functionality you want to use but you don't exactly remember like the find and replace maybe and you can come back here into this SEU help code member and look up. It also has a little program in the end which just displays a message on the screen. So we will compile and test it shortly. On the right hand side you see these numbers. They are dates. Year, month and day format tells you when each line was last modified. These dates. F3 out of here. Exit SEU. PDM itself has some defaults which you can also change by pressing F18 or Shift F6. Typically the first one, the object library, you can set it to current library meaning whenever you compile a member, a program member or even a display file or physical file member the object gets created in your current library instead of the library of the source code which is the other option source library and when you submit a compilation do you want to delete the object that already exists if it already exists or do you want to be prompted every time instead of blindly deleting the object and hoping the compilation succeeds if the compilation fails and you have said replace object yes then that object that was deleted cannot be recovered. So typically you will set replace object to no so that you get prompted every time whether the object is to be deleted or not and if compilation fails the previously successfully compiled object is not deleted. So that's the better safer option. You can compile in batch or you can compile interactively. Similarly running the program if it's a report generating program that can run in batch mode run it in batch or if it's an interactive program you don't want to run that in batch. So these are some of the settings that you can set or change for PDM. You can investigate what these settings do by just taking an F1 against any one of them. Take an F1 and it explains the functionality of that setting. F3 out of here. Page up to see the other member. There is a way to look at other members from within one member. Let's try that. Go into SEU help 2 to edit and page down. Say you are here and you want to look up code from another member. Shift F3 which will be the function key F15 and here you can say browse or copy member. There is another member that you want to look up but you are not sure which one that is. You could just take an F4 there and it will show you the other members in this source physical file. So there is the other member hello world for instance. You can only do a one against the member you want to look at and hit enter. So it has populated the member name with the member you selected. So you want to look at hello world member in the source physical file QRPG LESRC in your project library. You can hit enter at this point and the second pane below is bringing up that other member. On the right hand side you see the member name hello world is being shown here. You could if you want copy these lines one or more lines of code. Let's just copy all these lines 
it's just a simple program which displays hello world so we'll copy those lines here append it to our existing three line program so let's say after this blank line we add some free format rpg code so you saw how we did that we said cc delimit the lines you want to copy with two cc's you enter those are the lines you have delimited and you can just bring it here wherever you want let's say before this line so now you have two sets of the same thing so you don't want two sets let's delete one of those sets we'll just make do with these three lines or four lines that we copied and we can let go of this second member by pressing F12 now our little program consists of six lines seven lines we have two header lines and a few C spec lines now we are setting LR indicator last record indicator on in two lines once here set on LR in traditional C spec and here you have the same star in LR equals on in free format C spec doesn't matter let's get rid of these blank lines D to delete and D to delete that blank line hit enter so now we see our little RPG code in its entirety we have a few C spec lines spread out here three C spec lines and we have some two C spec lines in the very bottom in free format press F3 and here you have the option of resequencing you could say resequence say yes so all your program code lines get renumbered from one and is the increment of one and also you said you want to save the, your changes hit enter so now you have 80 records or 80 lines in your seu underscore help let us compile this member seu underscore help and create an rpg program out of it key in a 14 against the member name if you hit enter it will compile and create the program object but we can also take an f4 prompt because 14 is nothing but an invocation of the create bound rpg command and f4 will prompt you before you submit for compilation so create bound rpg program has very many parameters just the important ones are being shown here if you press f10 key you see the additional parameter options for this compilation command but the important one is the one on top where it says the program object will be named the same name as the member seu underscore help if you want to change it you can change it you can say compiled program then the program object will not be called seu underscore help it would be called compiled program but maybe you don't want to do that f5 to refresh the default so this is common functionality whenever you prompt for a command if you have changed some parameters and then want to revert to the default parameter values you just press an f5 so we don't want to change anything here we just want to compile it and create a program with the same name as the member name in the current library which is a project library so hit enter replace program say yes and hit enter so your program was successfully created seu underscore help placed in library project library with zero zero higher severity meaning we don't have any errors before we run the program we can just look at the compilation listing so we could just do work with spool file to look at the compilation listing the command work with spool file will show all the spool files 
available or that were created in your job or over the period of time by you and by the jobs you ran. So hit work with spool file and it will show many spool files. The last one is the one you want to look at. The latest and greatest is at the bottom. So take F5 against the last listed file in your spool file listing and you will see the compilation listing of SEU underscore help. Most of the program is comments. Just at the very bottom we have a little bit of code. So it's no surprise that it compiled cleanly right away because we had very little code. If we had errors, the last few lines of the program listing will show the errors right here, error levels. So we have error level 20, no errors, severity 30, no errors. So all good. But typically, this is where you'll be looking for bugs or errors in your program if it did not compile. So F12 to get out of this spool file listing. One more F12 to get out of work spool file screen. And it's time to call the program. Couple ways you can call the program. You could just say call program SEU underscore help. Case doesn't matter small letters and capital letters are insensitive to IBMI. So this will call the program. But we can be more specific. We can say SEU help in our project library. So insert on and say project library slash SEU help. That is where our program resides. The compiled program object was placed in that library. So we could call it that way. Let's call it. Hit enter. There you go. So it's displaying a message. It says display, edit, save, repeat. So this was our display line. And then we had it waiting for a response. So we can say something like OK because that same display command had a result field which waits for a result. So we could just say OK and hit enter. And this is the second part that we added, the free format RPG code which says hello world. All good. Press enter to continue. Your program is a success. It does what is expected of it. Another way to call the compiled program is just using one of the shortcuts. PDM shortcut, C for call. So against the member name, we could key in a C and hit enter. And the same program would get called. So display is displaying the program message, same one. And you see the previous run. The output from the previous run is also shown in the same display program messages screen. So the same thing is being run again. Display, edit, save, repeat. And waiting for response from us, we can say, got it. And then it shows you the hello world message. All good, hit enter. And you have a successful compilation and a successful program run. Congratulations. One other thing. Last time when we saved the member, while coming out of SEU, we said resequence the code line numbers. Did it resequence the code line numbers? Let's go back and look. 5, since we only want to look in browse mode, SEU help in browse mode, and the line numbers are incrementing from 1, 2, 3, 4, not showing any insertions or any decimal increments, meaning the line numbers got 
resequenced and our little program F3 out of here F3 one more time to come out of PDM let us examine our program object from the command line key in the command work object and then the name of the object prefixed with your project library so library name slash program object name seu underscore help and hit enter so we see that there is a program object called seu underscore help of type star pgm in our project library and it has the attribute of rpgle we could look at 8 take option 8 for display description and hit enter some further description about our object which system it was created on created by and so on page down when it was created when it was last modified page down the size of the program in bytes You could take an F1 on any of those uh, parameters shown to get further information. I took an F1 on the size. The size of the object is indeed in bytes. F12 out of here, page down, and hit F12. We could rename this program object to henceforward call it by a different name, but typically the program object name is kept the same as the source member name so we'll keep it as seu underscore help to avoid confusion f12 out of here and f12 out of work with objects you could just display the program display program qualify the program name with your project library slash seu underscore help and hit enter and you get more specific program information move the cursor to where it says type of program ILE and take an F1 note that this program is see underscore help is supposed to be an ILE program an integrated language environment program F12 out of here that was because you created the program with the command CRT bound RPG which creates an ILE program rather than which creates the original program model the older type of programs page down and page down note the number of copyrights there is a copyright on this program F3 out of here or F12 to exit display program information key in the command DSP PGM one more time prefix your project library slash program object name take an F4 and for level of detail if you take an F4 there you will see that you can get more granular information so we were looking at the default star all but you could look at something like uh, say copyright information since we did put in a copyright in our program a control option or a header option of copyright we could examine that copyright and hit enter so we want more specific copyright information about this program hit enter and you see that it is copyright IBMI by doing 2022 not that anything is enforced but it is there hit enter and we are just about done you could sign off at this point 90 to sign off and you have ended your session on pub 400 you could close the TN 5250 client application congratulations we created an RPGLE program to learn and document SEU we explored the source entry utility features we explored editing setting on session defaults invoking the command line from within SEU 
compiling the source code, browsing external program members, browsing compiler output, we looked at the spooled file of the compilation listing. We saw how we could modify the PDM defaults. And of course, we called the created ILE program. We even examined the program object with a couple of commands at the command line. As you can see, we have officially marked all our milestones off our list. Hope it was worth your time. To keep us motivated to produce more of such high quality free content, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button below, leave a comment or two and share this video with your colleagues, friends and other IBMI fans. We will resume our RPGLE journey in the next video session, again hands on. Until then, this is Madhu Vasudevan wishing you a very happy IBMI by doing. Stay tuned.